busted in a payment protection plan con. An OC man is accused of taking millions of dollars from the government and spending it on exotic race cars. Investigators say he went to great lengths to cash in on the business program. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler with how they say he pulled off the scheme. A Ferrari, a Bentley, a Lamborghini, millions of dollars worth of sports cars purchased with your tax dollars, the feds say, by a scam artist who defrauded a pandemic relief fund. Instead of using the money to, like a legitimate business to um, you know, help the business stay afloat, instead what's alleged is that he used the money for his own personal expenses, to take lavish vacations, and to purchase three luxury sports cars, a Bentley, a Ferrari, and a Lamborghini. Investigators say last spring, 38-year-old Mustafa Kadiri applied for $5 million in PPP loans and got them. They say he used fake companies. He even had four business addresses in Newport Beach, websites online, and social media pages. But all of it, say investigators, were fake. Earlier this week, a federal grand jury indictment that was returned charges Kadiri with bank and wire fraud, identity theft, and money laundering. The number of businesses that closed over the last year plus, uh, the number of people hurting out there, and, you know, that there are unscrupulous actors who, um, take advantage of, you know, what's a government program supposed to help people. The people who truly needed help are reacting. Melody Bridges has a dance studio in the San Fernando Valley. She got a loan and barely survived. It, it angers us. We, we had to go through so much stress to get the PPP loan. Without it, we would have gone under. The government, I think, had to work so hard to try to help small businesses like ours stay afloat during this incredibly challenging time in the world right now that everyone's going through and to take advantage of it just I think creates massive problems for anything like this to happen in the future or in times of trouble. He's being held on $100,000 bail. A jury trial is scheduled June 29th. In Irvine, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.